Good morning, I'm Ilka Oster, Faster EFT practitioner, focusing on inner wealth for entrepreneurs. And this is Joe Drennan, conscious parent and founder of School Stuff Sorted. Good morning. morning. Well, <laughs> we got nothing today. Uh, we did some pre-recording, which is this for Ilka being away in Nepal for three weeks, and uh, we got nothing. And we thought we'd just do one take and see where it goes because <laughs> this is terrible for me. Elga's the one who can think on the spot, think on her feet. Go, speak. What are you doing? Speak. This is funny. <laughs> Don't leave it to me. Okay, what are we going to talk about, Joe? We've been talking about communication. So. Well, this is it, hey? <laughs> when we just turn the camera on go one take we have planned nothing <laughs> and uh this is where you need to help me this oh, do I? Uh, yeah oh, I, go, okay. I go i don't think on my feet i did okay. that improv comedy course because i'm a recovering overthinker <laughs> i need to think about everything what's overthinking overthinking is where is Oh my gosh, getting in your head too much can actually be a really bad thing to send you down the rabbit hole. You know how like, people tend to think through things or feel through things? Mm. Well, I, I'm definitely not a feeler. Definitely a, uh, like to think through things and sometimes uh, way too much. Um, we forgot touch in the five languages on the oh, first Oh, that was we? pretty funny <laughs> when we're talking about the five love languages and we went through the four. And we go, what's the fifth? And there was a little bit of swearing because we both know this topic so well. And turns out we both missed out on, or forgot, touch. Oh, well. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Um, so, yeah, it is, it is uh, interesting, even this, because see how I asked you a question? I'll just ask questions. Is that, is, what do you do? Do you not, do you ask questions? No? No, and do you like? ask me questions off the cuff? This was one of the ah. hardest things for me when we decided to go live or just do one take was knowing that you, there's been a few times when you've asked me questions that I wasn't prepared for. Ah. And I struggle to believe that the information is in there. How, however, as you continue to ask, I recognize that it's there and it's becoming easier for me. Yeah, as in, if I get asked a question, I, it's much easier for me because then I'm speaking from what I've got inside and I feel more comfortable. I, I think for you it's because you're answering, you're, so you're helping that person because they're asking you yes. a question, giving yes. you, you can give them a, a result, a solution, Yeah. rather yeah. than just speaking and not knowing if that's yeah. helping anyone or, or answering anyone. Okay. Does that yeah. sound right? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. Or I just like telling stories or... Just like maybe, talking. Yeah, just like talking. And maybe, maybe though, I learned that growing up. I don't know. Is it, is it conditioned? Is it nature or nurture? Oh, that is, that is <laughs> such a tough question. <laughs> what we're born with. I believe that when we're born, we come in with our own specific energy type. Mm. But uh, we tend to be conditioned, socialised in a certain way, and it's, it can be hard to know the difference. Mm. Yeah, I think I'd certainly got attention from being able to speak and for be able to banter and tell you know tell jokes and things that was revered in our family. Yes. <laughs> what yeah. about you? Yes, similar, similar. Okay. We joke telling that uh, well, cynicism and sarcasm and. <laughs> yeah taken the mickey out of others pretty much yeah but uh, I think I learned that that's not really who I am and what I want to be yeah no ours is probably more of like being clever with jokes being uh -huh. able to put one in in the right place to make people laugh um, trying to break the ice kind of thing more, more that I think than um, yeah and storytelling or oh, what about the humour when you don't want to answer the question? So you avoid oh, yes. avoid the yeah, depth that's... or the feelings or the, the truth yes. with humour yeah. to deflect. Definitely. And uh, I used to, I, that, was, that was my laugh. Like I do laugh a lot and you know, laugh over the top and whatever. But that, it was huge like that. We'd use it as a deflecting tool. Me too. Humor, yeah. humor yeah. is my deflecting tool. Yeah. yeah. So, so we have all these communication styles that help us to avoid. Yeah. 
<laughs> Avoid communicating. <laughs> oh, we're laughing again. <laughs> well, that would m mean we wouldn't have to feel, wouldn't it, Joe? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And speak from fear, how we feel, oh. which is really can be quite difficult for me. Yeah. Rather perhaps tell a story or laugh or talk yes. than have to explain how I feel to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Can be tough for us thinkers yeah. to talk about feelings. Hey. Yeah, so something to remember when, oh, when you talk about people, talk to people close to you, and you say, "How does that make you feel?" Or "How do you feel about that?" That will be great for some people, and then other people. When people say that to me, I go, "Oh, hang on, just let me think about that for a minute. I'll get back to you." <laughs> <laughs> so I think this has actually been quite a good little summary of the last couple of weeks of all of our communication stuff. So yeah, how do you uh, process in your mind? Are you a thinker? Are you a feeler? Do you laugh? Do you speak your feelings easily? Yeah, What's or is like there a you? pattern? Somehow you mm. deflect mm. stuff you don't want Did to you talk learn about. It? Did you learn it growing up in your family? What was the communication style then? So many questions. So many questions. <laughs> We'll see you next week. See you next week. 6 a.m. If you're in the area, come down, say hello. Yeah. And, and inspire, inspire someone, someone today. today.